Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, January 9th, 2019. Well, we have some very windy conditions throughout the region today as a storm is redeveloping and intensifying in the Gulf of Maine. That low pressure system will continue to produce windy conditions today on through tomorrow. Winds this morning range from 10 to 20 miles per hour. They will veer to the northwest with gusts over 30 miles per hour at times. Those winds are transporting a lot of cold air that is going to be remaining in place throughout the rest of the week into this weekend and is also starting to produce some scattered snow showers rotating throughout the region. Temperatures this morning range from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast. These temperatures will hold through the morning hours and start to decline through the 30s as cold air builds in. On the satellite picture, our storm is rapidly intensifying, but notice you see these cold cloud tops here that are starting to show up. These cold cloud tops are a sign of what's called a deformation zone starting to form here over western, over eastern New York. Now, this will not directly impact us, but we have to watch out for, as the storm is intensifying, some of these snow bands rotating through portions of Connecticut, Long Island, the Hudson River Valley, and northern New Jersey and New York City for the potential for a few passing snow showers and possibly even a snow squall. And less of a potential chance for central and southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro. But again, keep an eye out for a few of those snow showers rotating through today and for tomorrow. If you get stuck in a snow squall, remember they're a lot like a thunderstorm. They produce intense precipitation for a very short period of time, reduce your visibility, and also can make roadways rather slick. So if you drive into one, slow down, pull aside, and wait a few minutes for the snow band to move through. On the latest surface map again, you can see our low pressure system reorganizing and intensifying in the Gulf of Maine with a series of cold fronts following through, leading to some very chilly weather conditions and a threat for scattered snow showers. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Look for a threat for a few scattered snow showers, windy conditions continuing with winds from the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusts over 30 miles per hour, Temperatures will be falling through the 30s this afternoon. Wind chills into 20s to so definitely bundle up and be prepared. For tonight, look for scattered cloud cover with a few flurries. Windy conditions remain. Look for lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s, but they will feel more like the lower to mid 20s. For tomorrow afternoon, look for scattered cloud cover continuing with winds from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour. They will start to subside towards evening. High temperatures in the lower to mid 30s, but they'll feel more like the lower to mid 20s. On Friday, high pressure and control. Watch out for a cold front that could produce a few isolated snow flares and snow showers in the morning. Other than that, sky cloud cover. Look for lows in the lower 20s, highs in the lower 30s, more like the mid to upper teens over the northern interior for lows. On Saturday, we're watching this storm very carefully. Now, the way that we're seeing this right now is that high pressure will be in control on Saturday morning with sky cloud cover, tranquil weather conditions, lows in the upper teens to lower 20s, mid teens as you head towards the interior. This low pressure system will track towards the North Carolina coast Saturday night into Sunday morning. That low pressure system should track just far enough north to produce some snowfall for the south side of Long Island, central and southern New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, really all southern Pennsylvania, and down towards the Washington, D.C. and Baltimore metros. The exact track is still debatable, but it doesn't appear that this storm is going to push much further north than, let's say, around the Delmarva Peninsula. So, what that tells me is that basically right now, the focus for the best potential for snowfall, accumulating snowfall, should be over central and southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro. Those of you in the New York City metro, you're on the edge of this. So if you're on the south side of Long Island, you could see a period of light snow. Same thing for the southern portions of the New York City metro. If the storm tracks a little bit further north, then there's a potential for more significant snowfall. But right now, I think the focus is basically for central and southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro. How much snow is still debatable. We have to watch to see how that all evolves. Temperatures on Sunday, certainly more than cold enough for snow, with lows in the lower to mid-20s, highs in the mid to upper 20s. So certainly anything that falls is going to stick. 
On Monday, that whole storm exits out into the Atlantic. Look for lows in the single digits to mid-teens for lows, upper 20s to lower 30s for highs. On Tuesday, high pressure will be in place with sky cloud cover, lows in the mid-teens, highs in the mid to upper 30s. And on Wednesday, high pressure starts to exit with increasing cloud cover with lows in the upper teens to lower 20s and highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. So the overall theme for this upcoming weekend, because I know everyone's focused on it, is simply this. We still are working on the actual track of the low pressure system, and we're working on how expansive the precipitation shield will actually be. So, for example, the low pressure system may track from North Carolina, pump up towards the uh, Delmarva Peninsula coastal waters and head due east. So that could lead to a light to moderate snowfall over the New York City metro and a moderate to heavy snowfall over the Philadelphia metro on back through the D.C. metro. Or it can move due east right off, along, right off of North Carolina, and that would lead to just basically snow showers for the New York City metro and light to moderate snowfall for the Philadelphia metro and central and southern Jersey and the New Jersey coast. So there's a lot that we still have to work out. It's going to snow. The only question is how much and where the heaviest snowfall will line up. That is your forecast for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.